and welcome back. Today, it's all about Beam Me Up, Scotty. Over 60 years ago, we remember Star Trek and later on Star Wars, when you could be anywhere in the universe. AI was commonplace, and today it still is. So we want to welcome David Nussbaum. David is the tinker, the incredible innovator, the talent and the CEO behind Proto. What's Proto? Proto is the hottest thing everywhere. And David makes it look so easy. And it's just right there. In fact, it's you anywhere. So David invented Proto in 2018. And it's had its first public appearance in the Saturn Awards and Comic-Con. So it's always been about entertainment ties and being around in healthcare and finance and education and fashion and retail and manufacturing and more. And previous TV has David and Proto on Ellen DeGeneres and CBS Big Brother and so many other shows, fashion shows, entertainment with stars, celebrity, the NFL, baseball, and everything else. So we are so excited to have David Nussbaum, Mr. Proto, on The Look today. David, thank you for being here and welcome to The Look TV. That was the greatest introduction of all time. I, I got to be honest with you. If things don't work out for you here on The Look, uh, you have a job waiting for you at Proto wow. because that was insane, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome that. to Proto. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That was that terrific. Is I, and wonderful. I wonderful. I appreciate that. Yes. You know, our our beginning, my background is in entertainment and in broadcasting. So it was uh, the transition from that into kind of holographic entertainment definitely required a bit of um, marketing. So yeah, the Saturn Awards and Comic-Con, those are super uh, low hanging fruit types of places, you know, putting proto technology in lobbies of movie theaters or, uh, or on stages uh, to beam in celebrities for meet and greets and other marketing events. Uh, absolutely the, the, the smartest way that we could think of to introduce ourselves to the world and we are we we still get to do a lot of fun entertainment stuff, but now we're a real technology company. As you, you are, as, you, as we as you evolve, things you know now you know Amazon and all of these other companies, all of these uh, technology companies say, wait a second, maybe there really is something to this. So, David, tell us a little bit not only about you, but tell us what got you tinkering, thinking about, and in two thousand eighteen, wow, we have Proto. It didn't happen overnight. This was great technology really before its time. I know some other companies are doing this around the world, not certainly quite like you, but how did we get here? Yeah, uh, my, my background is in broadcasting. I'm a broadcasting uh, communications guy. Uh, since the late 90s, I've been working for a bunch of radio stations all over the country. Uh, probably the biggest ones were uh, CBS Broadcasting in New York and Los Angeles. Uh, all I ever wanted to do was be on the radio. I want to be a broadcaster. Uh, when um, a small group of people and I helped move CBS and other uh, smaller radio stations move from traditional and ancient and uh, analog terrestrial radio into digital. So we brought a lot of the digital world into uh, the path from the past into the future. That led me into a world of podcasting. I started a podcast company in 2006, probably eight or 10 years before the podcast boom happened. Uh, so again, I was one of the first thousand podcasts on, uh, on the Apple platform. And I met a guy on my podcast who owned a, these, these rarely used patents that were later used famously to put Tupac on stage at Coachella in 2012. So my old company, prior to Proto, we uh, co-founded a an entertainment company that we were known for bringing a lot of late legends back to posthumously perform. So although my background was in broadcasting, I was now in the hologram business, uh, but never could I stop thinking about my, my passion for communication. So after a few years, I decided, what if instead of bringing back the dead, 
I used holograms to connect the living. And so that's why Proto was born in my living room in 2018. That's great. And while we are looking at it, we see this incredible, looks like an artwork moving and three dimensional behind you. And I think you mentioned this is one of the mainstays in Big Brother on CBS. So could you talk a little bit about that? And I'm sure we're gonna get into Big Brother. So maybe we can do a little fast forward and talk about Proto and on one of the biggest TV shows, reality shows of the world, 25 years going. Mm, it's absolutely. like Survivor. I think there's a really, there's a great, I think there's a great place for it. Uh, this year, she she answered my call, and then she made us part of not just the season, but the glue that holds the whole season together, the twist, the AI twist that brings it all together. And yeah, this helix, this golden spiral helix statue is playing 24 hours a day inside of the Big Brother house. And it only goes away when one of the AI house guests or when one of the AI characters uh, that we've worked very much in, in hand with the Big Brother producers on, when that when that avatar materializes, the helix goes away and then the house goes into chaos typically after that. David, so is this green screen somewhere else and then you have the large proto, you know, box or whatever how does that work can you give us a little bit with the technology because we see this and we might see wow this is yeah. in this box three-dimensional so maybe for our viewers tell us yeah. a little bit of the deep dive on how this technology works and how you kind of do it yeah for sure in fact so i'll make it easy for people to understand i'm gonna i'll just put my buddy howie mandel in there just hey, so howie, you can see howie. Hey, howie look it's andrew he's uh so uh, so the so the box just so for for scale just so you could see it is it is human size. This is a seven foot tall, four and a half foot wide, two foot deep hollow portation machine. Uh, beams anybody from anywhere to anywhere into unlimited locations in in live. It was live. It's real time. It's like he's there. Uh, he could be anywhere in the world, and he could be in multiple places at the exact same time. He happens to be pre recorded, so we scanned him with any four K camera and his. And we populate this display with his holographic projection. It appears real. The shadows are real. There's reflections on the floor. It's like he's there. It doesn't have to um, be a box, though. Yeah, I can show you uh, really quickly. It could be built into a wall, like our friend Paris Hilton here. So, Hi, it, doesn't so it doesn't have to be a box. It could be just a window into another world. And the displays are human size. So if you're six foot three, you appear six foot three. We wanted to make this as real as possible because, uh, you know, although we've been promised holograms from Star Wars, uh, even still, you know, this helped me Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's not, it wasn't very real looking, was it? It, it was a very cool movie effect, but I wanted, I wanted it to look like Howie Mandel was is standing in the room with me. And that is the effect that we wanted. And that is, the effect that we got. 